Hello everybody, welcome back to Norwich Talk for another transfer related video. Today's topic is Mr. Timu Puki. Now this is a video that I'm not going to take much joy in making, um, but in all seriousness, it's not that deep. Um, Timu Puki, his agent, has recently come out and said a few things, um, which by the headlines it all sounded very dramatic, but having read it, having thought about it, having processed everything about the sort of situation, um, etc. I feel quite relaxed. Um, and I'm here to hopefully calm down those who maybe are getting a bit carried away with what is currently slash has gone down, which isn't very much. Um, first things first, I read on the pink and that Timmy Pukki's agent has confirmed Timmy Pukki wants to be playing at the highest level. What I'll do is I'll pick out some key lines from the quote and I'll put them next to me now for us to look at. I'm not going to read them, you can read them yourself. The main point is is that Timu Puki, um, his agent, has said that he wants to play at the highest level possible. He's also said that he understands that Timu is invaluable to Norwich and that any business that is conducted um, will be done so with honour. If you read those quotes in full, I'll leave a link in the description down below to the Pinkin article that I read. If you read them in full, everything is, is very calm, it's very respectful. Um, which is it is good to see, and and the thing is, with this, sometimes when you get agents speculating about players' futures, it's not so calm. But this seems to be quite the opposite, um, which is very fitting for a man like Timmy Puki because I think throughout his time at Norwich City, it's well known that he's always conducted himself in a very polite, respectful, calm manner. Um, so yeah, in terms of the quotes, make sure you go and read those. I've been waffling for long enough that you probably had a chance to um, to, to go and read them. But I want to make a few points on Timmy Puki um, to get us warmed up, uh, much like the previous video, for our game of Keep Loan or sell um one thing worth mentioning as well is that there has been interest shown in england and abroad um according to the pinkin for timu puki in my opinion Team puki is the closest that a player has been um in my time supporting norwich to being untouchable now we've had our moments where we've criticized him but over the four seasons that he's been here He's been absolutely fantastic, you know, not just as a goal scorer, but as a creator um, and as a very important cog in the Norwich City machine, if you will. He's such an intelligent footballer and I am, well, really not afraid to say he is the best striker I've seen play for Norwich City in my lifetime. Not sure if he is my favourite because Grant Holt will always have my heart in that respect, but technically um, on the ball as a finisher, Timmy Puki by far and away is um the best he's 30 or he was 32 years old in march sorry 77 goals in 157 games is a ridiculous record as you can hear my phone downstairs beginning to ring 22 premier league goals in two seasons in two abysmal norwich city sides i think is pretty good going pretty good bang for your buck especially when you've paid nothing for him now we know wages blah 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 stop being boring um is the main point there dean smith said he envisages him at norwich i think he said that one at a couple of press conferences um which is interesting but the points so far is that timu puki is invaluable to norwich he's absolutely fantastic he is probably the best in my lifetime to play for norwich at a championship level you're going to struggle to find someone better than timu puki i think it was 26 25 um last season then 29 in the first daniel farker title winning side so it's very clear that as a player i'd argue he's irreplaceable um yeah so i, I and i don't think norwich will will you know, sell him. I, th I saw a tweet from Sam. I should credit Sam because that's kind of a thought I've been having. Didn't know if I was brave enough to say it, but I saw a tweet from Sam Seaman of the Pinkin saying that he would expect Norwich to demand quite a high fee, 10 to 12 million pounds for him because he's that irreplaceable. If he was to leave, we would be left with Josh Sargent and Adam Eder, who I think between them have, what, 15 games in the championship at most of which they're all adam eaders um that's not a front line you want leading you into what is supposed to be um an attempt at winning the championship again 
Um, so you think that Timo Pukki's experience, um, both as sort of a man in that dressing room, but as a player on the pitch, will be so, so important in terms of getting the squad back up. Um, whether this sort of agent talk is to drum up a new deal, I don't know. I'd, I'd be interested to know your thoughts in the comments down below if, if you think that could be the case or whether it really is just a case of, look, if we can strike a deal um, where all parties are happy, then wonderful. Um, but if we can't, then also that's totally fine. You know, If he continues to play for Norwich in the Championship, he's obviously going to play for Finland. That will never be in doubt. Um, but... In terms of wanting to play at the highest level, that's just the mindset of a footballer. Um, I personally don't read into that too much at all. Um, so yeah, this whole thing hasn't really bothered me. I hope this has maybe calmed down any of you who maybe have begun to or begun to doubt uh, Team Pukki's commitment to Norwich City. We should never really have to uh, to doubt that. This is the last year of Team Pukki's contract. Obviously, we extended his contract by a year. Um, whether they announced that May, April time. Um, so, do you know what? I, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe he was to leave on a free at the end of next season. But next season, he's going to be so important um, in terms of getting Norwich City back into the big time. Now, they are all my thoughts. I would be very, very keen to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Um, I plan on doing a couple of transfer videos surrounding players leaving, such as Shemusaf Poheta. But I also might just save it for a podcast because... How do you feel seven, eight minutes talking about Shimmer South Poeta without getting mildly offensive? Um, I'm only kidding. But yeah, the next time you see me will most likely be in the podcast with Connor. I've got Connor coming on for that. Might see if I can um, hook in another guest um, to come and make it a three man job. But yes, your thoughts on Tim Pook in the situation in the comments. I'd love to know them in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video. Um, thumbs up would always be appreciated uh subscribe to if you fancy it and i'll see you in the next one